Okay, if you've seen the other video, the one I, I ghost activity caught on video, um, now I think I, and I essentially kicked it out of the house. Um, there's things all over in this house tonight though. I saw something in the bathroom. Now there's something, it could be a person. I'm not going to try to get all mysterious and stuff, but now the noises are out on the fire escape and in the hallway at the same time so um here's what i'm saying don't know what's going on here but it is definitely not good all right i i i opened my mouth and yelled into the heavens and I, apparently they heard me so, so, okay, here's the deal. Um, well, you know what they say? You see them, they see you. So, maybe, I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to, my mind has been a little tender lately. Um, but I am... It's not something that you can't unsee over there where that huge, because it was against the boxes, that plastic lid, and the boxes were pushed away from the lid. And anyhow, then the shoe, okay? Listen closely, you can hear the shoe fall. I didn't touch it. Didn't move. And, well, a lot of things have been going on in this place since I moved in. Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. 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 You see, when I looked under that little hobbit hole over there by the containers, and if you look on the video closer, you may see the glint of a small steel blade back there. I saw it. I saw it. I don't know. My glasses are bad. It could be anything back there. I'm definitely not going back there to mess with anything. It could have been teeth. So. It's moving again. Okay. I'm not going to show you. You don't have to believe it. But the lid is moving back and forth again. Like it's being pushed or something's breathing heavily up against it. You know how it's halfway bent. So, well, I'm just going to ask that the Lord Jesus Christ will receive my spirit. Um, it's coming. I can't wait for whatever it is to come out of there. Because then I won't be able to post the video. Ooh. Fish food, fish food. That's a fishy food. Where are you? See that little guy right there? Watch this. Yeah, hi, I'm Elmo. I get it, fishy. Look at that. Good night. Good night. What else he's been eating? Fly heads. Joyce Myers has authored over 80 books in 80 different languages. Flyheads. He so eats flyheads. I'm surprised it's still alive. It's been a couple of weeks. Wasn't enough. Plus, I <sighs> so, each one of her books for about the same it really likes ants, especially flying ants. I think the wings tickle his throat. So now, it's definitely a doorway. The sad thing is, women and some men will read two or three or more of her books. I'm just ready for um, release. I look a little green, don't I? Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Oh, we're watching um, things about Joyce Myers and... I mean, the, the money that they spend on luxuries is completely outrageous. But, um... I trade with them in a second. Nah. 
Your soul is in the back pocket of the man that owns you. So, I don't know, man. I Joyce used to go on television years ago and bust on her husband. And, you know, he was a pastor and he's supposed to be the authority. Um, you know what? I, I got to say, you know, Joel, Joyce, Benny, John, all you guys, Creflo, man, if you give someone named Creflo a dollar, a, a dollar, you're, you're just asking for, to get robbed. All right. Anyhow. And now she's cashing in. Now she's saying, hey, look, these are my books. Well, anyway, here's the deal. Um, I pray that the Lord Jesus Christ would open up your heart and your minds to his word. I pray that you would realize that you need the blood of Christ to enter into the kingdom of heaven because, quite frankly, you need your space suit. Put it that way. You need a space suit to leave earth, and that thing's made of blood. Can you understand that? She's helping herself a whole lot more. That's why I'm gonna name this video. Uh, Joyce Myers also has so look, um, I listen to secular music. I am confessing to I I watch porn. I'm confessing. Um, 99.8% gay, probably. I've never had sex with a man. Um, I don't intend to have sex with a man, but I'm probably homosexual. If you don't like that, I'm sorry. No, I'm not apologizing to you because I'm not interested in how you feel, but just the, the idea of the apology may be enough. Because, you know, when you forgive someone, it's not for the other person, right? Everyone realizes that um, that's for you. When you forgive someone, it's for you. So anyway, I want to let everybody have a good night. I forgot totally about what I was saying because, well, you know, my channel's called Get High and Preach, isn't it? No? I'm going to try to change the name. To Get High and Preach? Oh, Lord Jesus. You know, I have been asking for this for years. Crying out, yelling. So, I want to say to you personally that I know that we're living in Sodom and Gomorrah right now. I personally know this. Um, the outrageous conduct that's going on with my own, my, my, my flesh and blood. And the allegations of drug use and all these other horrific things that so many people have said to me now that I don't know what to believe. But, I mean, after eight people write you and tell you these things, then you really have to start to believe them, don't you? Because there's no possibility that I can deny the last ones. All right. I'm not going to publish them. I'm not going to post them. But this is the most outrageous possible scenario that a human being could probably be in. I would love to tell you my whole story. I would love to get it out there on Oprah Winfrey or somebody. But they will never let me. I will not make it. Nope. Wouldn't, wouldn't get near the stage. Which is fine with me. Paul, now, I want you to understand what's going on here because there's a lot of people that are saying, oh, well, look, that's not true. I'm just a tired human being, okay? Tired. I'm ready to go. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the train. I'm, uh, I bought my ticket on the blimp. Okay, listen, please get me out of here. I'm a celebrity. I hope that that got picked up on here because if you just heard the moan that floated around the room, 
you would probably be crying right now. I hope it got caught on here. This is free. All right, so look. I've been challenging things in that time. I'm not afraid. If you if you manage to do something, then oh, pardon me, then big deal. Hold on, I got to stop that because I got to see what that's about. Look, gentlemen, if if you're about to kill your beautiful wife, man, or your ugly wife, or whatever, please don't kill your wife, okay? I'm serious, this ain't some hidden message or nothing, but look, there was a woman that was killed here recently, a couple years ago, but it was just so shocking that... You know, and, 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 and give it, yeah, it was the, the ideal white family out in the suburbs, you know, um, getting along, father's a, a banker. Yeah, I know, cute, 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 but it was just so tragic. And I'm sure that if the media showed the same black family being killed, it would be this just as tragic. It would be absolutely, but unfortunately, we like cute little things. I'm just saying because I'm looking at it right now. So right now, I'm gonna find out what this dude did. If somehow he tried to believe that Joyce Myers convinced him to kill his family, we're gonna find out. I've never seen this before. But Paul wrote, and this is my point, and and thank God for medical marijuana. Thank you, Jesus. Do not use drugs. Do you hear me? Don't make up excuses. Don't use drugs. Because it's vicious. It will never let you go. It will always be present in your life for the rest of your life. If you stop using crack, it'll be something else. Trust me. Um, I'm fine. You know, God has given me the perfect medication. I'm absolutely cool. Um... You know, there's there's definitely bound to be side effects because I'm under a ton of mental strain. And like I said, I'd love to tell Mari Povich or somebody about this stuff, but I won't. I'll never get there. Anyway, this is what Paul wrote. This is my point, and I want to focus. Please focus on this. Paul said that to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Paul said, O wretched man that I am who will release me from the body of this death. Paul said that because Paul was tired Paul wanted to go you know what no one knows what Paul's sin was but I personally have a I'm leaning toward homosexuality I'm leaning that's what his thorn was not married said a whole bunch of really hateful things about homosexuals um, the bottom of which is that they're going to hell. So, guys, listen, man. I, I'm probably, I don't know. I can't say. I'll never know. But I lean toward the feminine, the female. Okay? I would have preferred to have been born a woman, probably. Um, anyway, not concerned whether you like it or not. It's not up to you. All right, Fishy, Fishy just ate another ant that landed on me. Okay, so here's the deal. Paul wrote those things for a reason because Paul was tired too. He wants to leave the planet like I do, and probably every Christian on this planet should want that same exact thing. You know? Um, I've been looking for about 20 years for the scripture where it says about, you know, but I know that in Job, Job's wife comes out and says, why don't you curse God and die? In other words, kill yourself. Killing yourself is cursing God. So forget about it. Please don't do it. If you want to, call me. Message me. Another ant. This is a big one. This guy is pretty big. He's, uh-oh. You ain't getting out. You going in the fishbowl. My fish is hungry 24-7. Booyah! Get him. Can you guys see it? Uh-oh. 
Uh oh, we can't miss it. Ah, oh, shoot. He ate it already. Fishy. Stop eating all the food, man. The people want to see it. He's pretty cool. It makes me realize that I'm Elmo, though. Right? Does anybody else see the similarities? Man living alone in a box. Friend is a fish. Okay, so I'm going to figure out what to call this video, and I'm going to post it. You have a good night.